Okay, so this is usually one of the spots right here that we go to. And a lot of times people are sitting in their cars. This looks like somebody's car who I arrested before we had marijuana just all in the vehicle. So we normally just get out and check the cars because they like to sit in the cars and just wait for people to come up. It smells like so much marijuana coming out of this vehicle. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm deputy. Hey, calm down. I'm deputy Pickens with the Harris County Sheriff Office. We trespassed you the last time, and you're here. So this is what I need you to do. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna detain you, and I'm gonna conduct my trespass investigation. And sir, come on. Put your hands behind your back, man. Put your hands behind your back. Come on. It's wrong, bro. We told you not to come back here. It's wrong, bro. This is marijuana, a lot of it, a whole lot of it. He tries to say that um, that he's only up here buying, but clearly he sells it. He's fussing in my back seat. He also has small baggies right here. This is how they sell the weed. They just put a lot of it in these individual bags. Whenever we arrest people on any type of drug or violent offenses, they can't come back. We give them a criminal trespass warning and we say, hey, you're not to be back on the property. But they feel like just because the cashier doesn't call the police on them, that it's okay for them to come back and it's not. So the last time his four-year-old son was in the car and it was reeking even more pungent than what we smell now. And the kid was just inhaling all these fumes. So. Number one, it's two ways that we have uh, entry into the car. It was clearly all this plain view marijuana plus the smell reeking of it. And then he gave me permission to get his keys out the car. Okay, listen, you are going to get a warrant out for your arrest. It's going to be for criminal trespassing, okay? Uh, okay. So we're going to more than likely file the paperwork today. Uh, Just be on the lookout, call a bail bondsman, uh, cool. and go to your court date, okay? Uh, I, I did take the marijuana. Cool. That's gonna uh get submitted. It's still, it's That's and then again, please do not come back to this property. Right, cool. I it's gonna sound cliche, but I, I really did want to be the change that I wanted to see in my community. And I wanted to help keep it that way. So some people might look at the Greenspoint area like, oh my god, it's so it's so bad. How did you make it out? Well, I made it out because of people like me and what I do now. Um, law enforcement, they kept our streets clean. Now, of course, I was always inside before the sun went down. So, you know, if you stay focused on your goals, I went to school, I went home and that was it. You know, I didn't, I didn't hang out with the wrong crowd. So for the people who live in this community who uh, Oh, we don't chase motorcycles, by the way, even though it's tempting. <laughs> but um, for the people who live in my community, like the, the young kids who, you know, who I see myself in them, I want to be that reason that they can, you know, make it out successfully.